Welcome back to our video tutorial course where we show you how to create an incredible business blog like this through the power of AI. Drive traffic, customers, revenue, subscribers, and even reviews 100% on autopilot. Create incredible long-form content and blog posts with images and videos like these 100% automated on a timed basis by setting up a simple automation or create posts manually in under 20 seconds with just a couple of clicks. We're excited to show you all the features and functionality, so let's get into it. In this video tutorial, we're going to take a look at some of the SEO features and configurations available in your new blog. We're going to take a look at some things like setting up analytics and submitting your website to Google as well. First thing that we want to take a look at is optimizing the title tags and meta descriptions of the pages of your new blog. In previous tutorials, we've taken a look at how we can do that for posts, optimizing the SEO title tags and meta descriptions to show up higher in Google organic search. But with both our platform and the WordPress plugin integration, you can also optimize the title tags and meta descriptions for posts. We're here on the AI post dashboard and we're going to come down here and, and select the filter pages instead of posts. Going to click the search button and that will bring up all the pages on our website. And the page that we'll do an example for is the blog page, which is the main page on the website. And what we're going to want to do is click this edit SEO data and we're going to want to input a keyword. So we're building a landscaping blog. So we're going to have the landscaping blog as the SEO keyword. We'll click update and now we can get the title tag and we can also get the SEO meta description. If we want to change any of this information at all, we can click the edit SEO data again and make our changes. We can do this for all the pages on our website. This is going to lead into the next thing that we want to take a look at, which are the SEO and analytics options. The first tab in the sidebar is going to be analytics and we can easily connect Google Analytics by clicking on this button and following through with the prompts. You can set up a Google Analytics account by going to analytics.google.com and this will allow you to track all the information like how many visits you're getting to your website and what the users are doing on the website like time on page an average page visit. The next option that we'll take a look at are the titles and metas as well as some of the other global SEO options with your blog. The global options are pretty self-explanatory and shouldn't need any further configuration. For the local SEO options, if you're running a local business, you can fill out these options, which include things like your email, phone number, street address, and any other information that you would like to input. We've got a social meta tab. You can input any of your social profile information for the home page. We can leave this as is because we've already optimized the blog page. For the post formats, these are going to be templates that you can utilize for things like the category pages. The authors page, you can enable or disable the authors page. And what that will do is create an archive of all the posts for a specific author. For the post types, we've got posts. And again, you can utilize templates for the title tags and meta descriptions and insert any information in here that you want. But if you're using the SEO features, you're not going to need it because you will already be optimizing the title tags and meta descriptions for posts. Options can be left as is and are already configured for you. The page metadata works the same as the posts, but again, if you're using the SEO options, you're not going to need this. Attachments, that's already configured. For the post categories, again, you can utilize the template structure here for any post categories, tags, and the rest of the information should already be configured for you. The next tab that we have here is the sitemap settings. And what this sitemap is going to allow you to do is submit your blog to Google and Bing 
And whenever a new post is created, Bing and Google are going to be automatically notified. So what you're simply going to need to do is copy the URL of your sitemap here. In another tutorial, we go over how to change your domain name to your own custom domain name like blog.mysite.com or just mysite.com. But you'll copy the sitemap URL right here. And you can create a Google Search Console or Bing Webmasters account. They're both free. And all you do is just follow the prompts and submit your site. With that being said, when you set up and connect your Google services via this button right here, you'll also be prompted to set up a Google Search Console account. It's not technical at all. Just follow the prompts. You'll have everything set up and your site will be submitted to the major search engine. So these are the basic SEO options and configurations for your new blog and how you can submit it to Google and Bing, as well as track the usage information on your website.